the trick here to make this look right is we're going to take 360 and divide it by 12, which ends up being, you know, 30. And we're going to use that number 30 and then divide it by another two. We're going to use that in order to determine our snap positioning. That's going to play a role as we're duplicating all of these. And so we're going to go ahead and duplicate that radial. We're going to move it outwards. And then we're going to turn on snapping for the radial array itself instead of the object within the radial instead of the sphere. And we're going to set that snapping to 15 degrees, which is half of 30. And then we're going to rotate every time we duplicate the um, spheres, the radial spheres. Every time we duplicate it, we're going to offset it by uh, 15 degrees. And that's going to create that repeating alternating pattern as we're moving and, and creating the, the egg shape. 